Castle is under attack. Jura, Tyrion, go bar the gates. Servant! Grey Worm, ready the troops. I need more wine. <sighs> We're gonna die. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. So, today I told you I would be back to review the other Game of Thrones wine. So this is the Game of Thrones Chardonnay, so 2015, or 2016, I apologize, uh, from the Central Coast, California. It is 13.5% alcohol by volume, and it retails for about 15 to $20, depending on where you get it. So, let's go ahead and try her out. From a no standpoint, Oh, I'm sorry, you know what, I didn't do coloration. So for color, it, it's it's probably, nah, I would say it's your typical Chardonnay. It's kind of got a medium gold to dark yellow tint uh, from a nose. Ooh, that's interesting, I'm getting, I'm getting what almost feels like, like a melony note. Definitely getting what, what smells like lemon and a hint of peach. Yeah, I would say, I'd say lemon, peach for sure. Maybe melon, I'm, 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 I'm wondering if that's melon though. It could be something else tricky. Hmm. All right, so let's see what it is in the taste. Yes, peach for sure, but it's not powerful. It's, it's subtle, but I'm getting a lot of aromatics blending. So there is peach. There's lemon, I'm getting lemon in the finish, but there's something else. It's Now that I'm tasting, it's almost like an orangey note, but I don't think it's orange, because uh, I'm not smelling orange, but it has another type of citrus element to it. Yeah, I'm stumped there. I'm, 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 I'm getting what, like I said, I'm getting what tastes like an orange, but I'm not getting, I'm not getting anything that kind of lets me know for sure it's orange. Like I can't smell it in the nose because what I'm smelling in the nose smells more like melon, but this doesn't taste like it has melon. It's a very confusing wine, very confusing wine. But Tyrion would know what what was in here. He seems to know a lot about wine, or at least the mass consumption of wine. Yeah, anyway. So, in terms of my rating, I'm going to give this a enjoy again. I like it. And, and I don't typically like Chardonnays. Uh, I, I like them from time to time, but I kind of have to be in the mood for them. This sort of has a different sort of complexity to it, and I feel like I could probably enjoy this more often than a normal Chardonnay. However, depending on where you get it, it's probably outside of the wine on the dime price range. But since this was a birthday gift to me, and I didn't pay anything for it, it falls perfectly within the wine on the dime price range. That's how I justify things on my channel. It's my channel. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried the Game of Thrones wines, either the Red Blend or the Cabernet Sauvignon or the Chardonnay? I'd be very interested to know what you think of them and if you would go and pick some up yourself or if they would be your drink of choice when fighting, I don't know, say, the Unsullied or an army of White Walkers or dragons or any other other like millions of villains on Game of Thrones. So yeah, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys again soon with another episode of Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, I am gonna go prepare for the premiere and make sure my hair is on fleek. And yes, I just said that. And I know I'm not editing it out. <laughs> 
kick you sometimes. That's gonna be an ending. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Everyone, we're under attack. Jorah, go, damn it. <laughs> I hate you so much. Jorah, bar the gates.